Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the uh, Airy Alexa Mini as well as the Airy WCU4. Uh, this is a very popular combination. Uh, as we all know, the Alexa Mini is a, a great, very popular camera, uh, and WCU4 can control uh, a wide variety of Airy ECS or electronic control system products um, together. They're a great combo because you can control uh, both the motors that we have attached here to the Mini. These are C-Force Mini motors. Uh, as well as with the right licensing, you can actually talk to the camera directly and control it. So a great combo. I want to show you how it works together in this video, uh, and we'll go a little further in the next one. So, uh, so to get started here, let's talk about how they can talk together, right? So uh, on the camera side, uh, as long as you have the, the, the more recent uh, updates, up to recent SUPS, uh, SUP 4 or above for this video purpose, uh, you can go in and turn on the radio uh, in the Mini and then set up the radio on WCU4 to talk together. So uh, let's go in the camera first, go to menu, go to uh, electronic control system, and then go into the radio and go ahead and turn it on. Uh, and note it's set to channel four. Come on to my WCU4 here, and we'll do the same thing, just match that channel. Uh, right now it's set to three, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the menu here under menu, go to radio control, set to four. Just like that, give it a couple of seconds, and it will connect. And you see the full bar is there. Um, so we're connected, we're talking, it's working. Now note right away here uh, that I'm getting some lens info. Focal position, uh, iris position of my lens, right? So why is it doing that right away? Well, that's because I have, on, in this configuration, a, a master prime uh, on my camera. And the master prime, in this case, is an LDS master prime, right? So. Uh, that's lens data system. Information is feeding back from the lens into the camera. That lens info includes uh, where it is in, 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 in focus, where it is in iris, right? So that data is being fed in. And, the, and also, it's feeding the whole scale of information back into the camera as well. So it uses that mapping information that comes with the lens to talk to my uh, hand unit here. And everything lines up. Nothing, nothing to do, really. It just sort of feeds in, set up. Now, I have, the camera's been. This combination has been put together earlier and I calibrated. Uh, you may need to calibrate when you first um, attach the lens. To do that, there's a button here. It says Cal. Hold it down for a couple seconds. One, two, three. And let it go and it'll go ahead and calibrate. Simple as that. All right, so lens data is being fed. LDS lenses, great. If you have them, that's Allura's, that's uh, Ultra Prime LDS lenses, that's uh, Cook Eye lenses as well it works with. So Cook lenses and a variety of others that have that data read it in and out, fantastic combination. When you have that set up, now you can just control iris and focus, just like that. And actually on the camera side, if you go to the menu here, you go back to ECS, you go to lens data, you'll see Zeiss Master Prime 25, which is what I have on there. And then go to lens info, and you'll see all that info about the lens, including the serial number, uh, in the focus and iris position. Go ahead and do that. See it moving around. So. Simple as that to get the communication happening with this type of lens product. Now, uh, that, again, not all of those, not all lenses work this way. If you don't have LDS or Cook Eye lenses, you'll need to, to manually map. And that's what I'm going to have to do in the next video with this lens. This is a 28 to 80 from Zeiss. We're going to map that lens in the WCU4, load it into the camera, uh, and then we'll have the same information flowing once we do that. So that's the next video. All right. Uh, next, I want to show you how to control the camera remotely, right? Um, we'll go ahead and just go home here and come back home on this guy as well. Uh, okay, uh, to control the camera, uh, there's a button up here that says cam, right? Uh, and that information that you see there includes frame rate, shutter speed, exposure, and so on. You don't need a license for this info to be visible, right? You can always see that. And when talking to the mini or, uh, or a plus type camera, you can see that info. Um, but there's a little green setup here button. If you, have, uh, if you have a license installed from the Airy License Shop on here, the Alexa Remote License, put that on there, that button shows up, and you go in there, and now you can see a lot of things you can control, like shutter speed, frame rate, etc. Um, this uh, will work with uh, the license, the Alexa Remote License work with all the Plus cameras, Plus Alexa Plus cameras, of course, S6T, etc. Uh, or it also work with the UMC controls and things like the Amira, etc. So, uh, lots of options uh, and ways to talk to Alexa Airy type cameras with this, uh, but this is how you do it with the Mini. Very straightforward. 
Um, to change the setting here, I can just go down again using the little zoom rocker here to like an ND filter. Click on that, and let's go to ND21. Check that out. And you hear that? That's the filter going in place. It works. Let's turn that off. Great. So we're talking. We're controlling the uh, the motors here, the C-Force Mini motors. Everything's kind of working. Very straightforward. I like I really like this combination. Uh, for those of you wondering, I have a tilter rig here and a Switronics battery. Uh, this is you know, not required. Just nice extra stuff. Notice there's no boxes here. Just my motors are plugged directly into the into the camera. We're talking directly to it. Very very simple. So uh, that's it for this. Next video up is the how to map a lens like this, which does not talk, does not LDS. Uh, check that out. It's a sort of complicated, but not so bad. Make the file, load it in the camera. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.